Hey, Lavendi here, back for some more Pokemon Hot Gold walkthrough. In the last episode, we defeated the Elder of Sprout Tower, and then we conquered the Violet City Gym. Now, for this episode, first things first, we have to teach Rock Smash to our HM slave, which we called HM Rocky. And also, we've got Flash, which I'm actually going to use... Oh, actually, do I need to use it at this point in the game? I don't think I do. It's okay. We'll leave Flash for now. Anyway, now with Rock Smash, I can break boulders that are blocking my way. Uh, for example, this one right here in Violet City. So the rock appears to be breakable, but I like to use Rock Smash. Yes. And there we go. Oh, and we found something. A Max Edit. That's actually a really good item uh, at this point in the game. Max Ether, I probably, okay, so Max Ethers, what they do is they can heal up to, they can heal a Pokemon's moves, or power, power up moves, I don't, anyway. So, let me re-explain that, <laughs> if that's a word. Okay, so each Pokemon has a move, and they have power points in each move. To use up all the power points in the move, then you can't use the move anymore. And Max Ever, what that does is use it on a Pokemon and it restores the one moves power points to full so you can use the move all over again. It's useful, I mean those items I think are useful when you go to the Elite Four and you can't go to the Pokemon Center after each battle. That's when they're useful, so I'd probably save them up to them. Anyway, in this walkthrough in this walkthrough. In this episode we're gonna look at the ruins of Alf, which uh there we are. So the ruins of Alf, and now that we have Rock Smash, we can actually get through it. Or well, some of it, anyway. Now the ruins of Alf, um, they, it's an area where you can, uh, the more you, the more you progress with the game, the more you can unlock. At the moment, I've got Rock Smash, so I can break boulders here and get to some items that I recently couldn't. Um, Later on though, I can get, for example, Surf. Oh, sorry. I get Surf and I can Surf over water. And then if I also get Strength, I can get to other barriers that were recently in the way. And just there we found a rare candy, which is pretty useful. A rare candy rest uh, restores, well, it levels up any Pokemon in the team by one level. I wouldn't recommend using him again to the end game. I've got a red shard, so those can we can take to the berry guy in Violet City. Uh, yeah, as I said, I wouldn't recommend using a red candy until the very end of the game for when you have the Elite Four because if you're severely underleveled or even if you catch Pokemon that's like later in the game, you can use it on them. Tiny mushroom there. Okay, yeah, so for now there's these two, so we can't go over here because it's Surf, but we can go here I believe, wait, no, there's a Great Ball there. Okay, so yeah, we can't really do much um, at this moment in the game, but if we go over here, so to the left of, in that first chamber is a potion. But if you go right, and then up, and then left, and then up, <laughs> you can actually come here. Now, there's two things you can do here. So first, if you look here, it says escape. So earlier in the game, we got the escape rope. So if we use that now, then we'll trigger this. And we can go through. And revealed is a chamber with four Pokeballs. So the first thing we get is an energy powder. And the heal powder. The orange berry. And the pitcher, pitcher, pitcher berry. Anyway, you, as you walk up, you can see two Pokemon statues and then just a hole. So if you go down it, it'll say a message spelled in unlearned letters and it says our clan energized words in this place is it energized explained 
encrypted. Hmm. I don't know, even I don't, sometimes even I have trouble deciphering these. But yeah. So if we keep going forward, or down, we'll go through here. And at the moment there's nothing here, so you can't encounter wild Pokemon. Uh, there's just a bunch of statues. But if we come upstairs, and then... If we go to the other chamber, we can actually, wait, hold on, yeah, so at the moment it's, you can see the top screen, but the bottom screen there's a puzzle, and it is a Kabuto. So each, in the in ruins of Elf, there are like all these different puzzles, and the more of them that you complete, then the more you can... I guess, or you unlock all these different pathways down below. So this one, yeah, we just, we see this researcher, he's like, oh, did you just come from above? Yes. So yeah, you, the more stone panels you solve, the more you learn, I guess, about the unknown and their involvement with the Ruins of Alf. Um, this part of the game, yeah, so now there is a strange presence here. So I think once you solve that first puzzle, you awaken the unknown powers that lie within the ruins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and speaking of unknown, here they are. Oh, he's one. And it's a unknown with the letter H. Okay, so anyway, I'll probably encounter yeah, quite a few unknown now, because yeah, I haven't got a repair or anything. Yeah. Again, that's another different shaped unknown. So yeah, as I was saying before, the ruins of our uh, at the moment, yeah, that's all we can do. We can unlock the first puzzle, encounter unknown, and also find those few items behind the first door. Later in the game, yeah, we get, I believe one of them is Flash, which we, there's a panel we can't get to at the moment. But once we unlock Surf, we can use Flash and get past the panel revealing more items as well and then there's one which is a water requires a water stone which again we can do that anyway now that that's done we're on route 32 so if we talk to yeah well this, he kind of talks to us saying wait up what's the hurry you have some good pokemon there it must be from training you gave them around violet sea the training at the gym must have been especially helpful as a souvenir of Violet City, take this, it increases the power of grass type moves. So, if you started with Chikorita, that's helpful, or if you've got a Bell Sprout, that's also helpful. Um, I think it's the way, it's the game's way of saying, okay, we gave you two gyms with a disadvantage, here's a grass item to help your Pokemon with their power up moves, or with their moves. So, yeah, um, at the moment though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a like, a comment. Sorry it was only a short one today, I just wanted to cover the ruins of Alf. But till next time, Lavendi out.